session, we are going to talk about on how to maximize Zoom without actually using the 40 minute time limit for our free or basic accounts. I know most of the schools are given the privilege to actually use Zoom for unlimited time, but there are still some countries who are not able to have these features like uh, Cambodia, Philippines, Thailand, or Vietnam. So for these schools who's actually coping up on how to use e-learning as their platform for teaching, these simple steps could help you be able to maximize Zoom for your classroom learning online. So just watch for these simple steps and I hope this will be helpful for you. First is to go to your uh, web browser, whether it's Safari, uh, Google Chrome, or um, Firefox and make sure you are into Zoom. And the next one is to go to 10 Minute Mail. So I'm just gonna simply type 10 Minute Mail in my browser. And as you can see, we have here 10MinuteMail.net. So this one should be the option that you're looking for. So 10MinuteMail.net. So click 10MinuteMail.net. And Make sure to uh, have your 10 minute mail with ZZRGG. So I'm just going to show you that. So this is the correct last part of the domain. So it should be at ZZRGG.com. So the next thing that you have to do is to copy that to your clipboard. And once you copy that to your clipboard, you can now go to Zoom and then just simply click sign up for a free account. Then simply come up with your date of birth. So let's say for example, my date of birth is February 14. Make sure to choose a year that is um, on a later date, preferably 1990s or 1980s. I'm just gonna select 1985 right there so that you will be 18 years old and above. Copy and paste it here and then click sign up okay and you will receive this notification that the link has been sent to your email again this is a random email created for you by 10 minute mail server and then here as you can see now you have an activation code for your zoom account so just simply click please activate your zoom account and from there you have to click activate, it's right here, the blue colored one. Click activate and it will now start to activate your account. You will be asked, are you signing up on behalf of the school? I prefer to click no and click continue. And then just simply type your name and last name. And you will be given a suggestion for a strong password, but I suggest that you create your own, something that you can easily remember, and it should be a stronger one. Because this is again a dummy email created for you by 10 Minute Mail, and therefore you have to always remember your password. Okay, so let's type in our password and confirm that password. Remember, you have to finish this process within 10 minutes because the 10 minute mail generated email will expire in 10 minutes. So you can just click save password anyway you're using your own laptop or device. But if you're not using your own laptop or device, do not do that. Your next step is to invite colleagues. I'll just skip this step. I'll, I'll be not needing it to invite my colleagues since they know very much about Zoom. And just simply click, I'm not a robot. And traffic lights, you just have to make sure you click everything that has related or that is related to a traffic light and click verify and therefore you're not a robot and skip this step. Okay. And we're not going to start meeting now, but rather you, we will go to my account. Okay, so don't forget to read this important notices because Right now, Zoom is actually improving their security um, encryption by using a GCM encryption. And also, uh, they are constantly updating the schools that will be having a 40-minute time limit to be lifted. But as of the moment, like what I've mentioned, 
um, schools in the Philippines, Cambodia, Vietnam, and Thailand do not have that option yet. So that's why we're doing this. Now, how do you know whether it worked? Go to your user type and click the question mark under basic. And then there you have it. Zoom has temporarily removed the 40 minute time limit on your Freebase account. So ta-da, you are now qualified for the unlimited Zoom meeting every time that you will call your students for a live classroom. So how amazing is that? Now, if you like to manage your account, just simply go to settings. And here are some uh, settings that you really have to adjust in order to add additional precautionary measures for your security purposes. So what I normally do is to uh, enable personal meeting ID so that I don't have to uh, create meeting ID every now and then. And then make sure that use personal meeting ID when scheduling a meeting is also active. And also make sure use personal meeting ID when starting an instant meeting is also active or enabled. And just click turn on. Why did I select that? So that again, I don't have to send a user ID every now and then and I, that I need to start a class. Now, this is amazing. You can also edit your password for your class. So just simply click that one. And a password that my students would be easy to remember, maybe I'll just type Jake1987. Um, so this is a password that I automatically would remember and then just simply click save and then click continue. So there you have it. And require a password when scheduling new meetings. Okay. And for that, we also have to change it to the same password that I like. That's Jake, sorry about that. 1987. So those are some information that we have for you today. I hope you're able to learn. Thank you so much and have a good day. Thank you.